Howdy, y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to travel guide in the Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC, and in this episode, we're going to a secret dinner with plenty of wine and food to go around. Plus, a world-renowned street artist comes to Texas for a one-of-a-kind arts festival in Austin. But first, Texas, you know, it's synonymous with barbecue, and what better way to celebrate the Lone Star State's obsession than by gathering all the very best pit masters in one place and sampling their cuisines. So I hope you brought your appetites because we're about to stuff our faces at the annual Texas Monthly Barbecue Fest. This is Texas Monthly's Barbecue Weekend, a gathering of the very best barbecue in the Lone Star State. Okay, so Austin is the mecca for barbecue, and what better way to celebrate that smoky goodness than by gathering all of those delicious meats that you can think of in one location. We're talking about Franklin Barbecue, and I hope that you brought your appetites because there's just tons to eat. I'm hungry. Franklin and Friends is a newer component of the weekend that brings in folks from around the world for an intimate date with Central Texas Barbecue. We're from Chicago. Chicago! I had to get away from the snow. Well, we're from Monterey, Mexico. Maryland. From Chicago. Uh, definitely stoked for uh, some barbecue, some beer, hanging out. It's going to be a good time. This is my first time. I have no idea what to expect. Just amazing food, um, great interaction with the uh, the pit crews. And that's the best part is you can actually sit and talk to these people. that are, They're just artists, and you can figure out what are they doing, how are they doing it, what makes it different. So it's really exciting. And when the clock strikes six, guests file in for all the eats, meats, and drinks. So we're Burlington's Black Iron Barbecue out of Pflugerville, Texas. And we're serving today the caramel apple cobbler so and our Texas Cuban. So it's pulled pork and pork belly mixed together. It's a little skin chopped in there, ham, pickles, and Carolina mustard barbecue sauce. I didn't eat lunch for this because it's so exciting. Okay. I don't even know the sauce is on top, but it's delicious. Um, Convenience West is the name of our outfit. We're all the way out in Marfa. Awesome. Um, and so tonight we brought some smoked banana pudding. We brought brisket sliders, which is kind of a mini version of what we do at home. Okay. Um, we also made cabrito tacos on fresh flour tortillas and um, some what we call carrot dip dip. It's fire roasted carrots and comfy garlic with some Fritos to scoop at it. Cute. Oh my god. It's really so good. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. Bread is nice and buttery. It's so toasted and it's delicious and soft. And then the meat is so tender. And it's got this sweet barbecue sauce, but it also has a little kick to it too. That's bomb.com right there. And I think I'm in love. So we're at Desert Door. We're serving up our sotol here today, uh, which is a spirit made from a native Texas plant, also called sotol. So okay. we're serving it up in a ranch water, which is the classic Texas two-step. All you have to do is pour out your Topo Chico to right here, fill it with sotol, and then put a lime in, and you've got yourself ranch water. That has a nice kick to it. I like that. <laughs> Charlie's Barbecue and Catering from Beaumont, Texas. We serve in St. Louis smoked ribs and a pot of pinto beans with some homemade link beans. Oh my goodness, you're just teasing us right here. I'm gonna have to get me some. First rib of the day. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It was a little hot at first. It took me a minute, but woo! It got that smoky flavor. It's so good. And I dipped it in the beans, so it makes it even better with the sauce. And if you know anything about barbecue, then you know this guy, Aaron Franklin of Franklin Barbecue. Finally, we get to meet you. You're kind of a Texas icon. Uh. Well, <laughs> it's funny that you say finally we get to meet because I'm here every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please tell us about the event. How did it all get started? Who came up with the idea? So Franklin Barbecue did the Team BBQ Fest. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of the only Sunday that we would ever close the restaurant. Uh -huh. And then eventually I was like, you know what? Let's just do a pre-party on Saturday. And I mentioned it to Daniel, 
over drinks one night. He's like, man, that's a really cool idea. And I said, yeah, that is a cool idea. Let's do it. So we did it. And this is the third year we've done the Franklin and Friends, as we like to call it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Franklin okay, I call it that. I don't know if anyone else is. <laughs> okay, so we've met Franklin. Who are your friends? Every year, Daniel Vaughn and I kind of talk. And they're like, well, who do you want to invite? And right. It's like, well, these guys are doing cool stuff. I'm like, well, I like these guys. And really, I kind of let Daniel, because he's the guy driving around eating this stuff. I don't really, <laughs> that's not my job. Yeah. I stand in a parking lot and talk to people. Yeah, so we just kind of come up with a list together and people we want to hang out with pretty much. We are not a, an expert by what so many. What, oh, I'm not either. He may, he may be a, a little notable. I'm uh, vegan. <laughs> okay, so what's the secret to making a perfect brisket or the, the best brisket? Oh. Or a Franklin brisket? Um, a lot of labor and uh -huh. a lot of love. Yeah, but no, no secret ingredient. No, no, just labor, really. Yeah. Uh, de sweat the details, and it takes a long time. We are Leroy and Lewis Barbecue. We are here in Austin, Texas. Uh, today we have a crispy, uh, crunchy barbacoa taco with onions, cheese, cilantro, and our house-made taco sauce. Oh my goodness, I love yeah. me barbacoa. I know it's not Sunday. But, but you know, we actually do barbacoa every day. All right, they fooled me. I saw these around and I thought it was a crispy taco, but it's barbacoa. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're in the back of the line for Franklin's barbecue. There's like maybe 100 people in front of us. All worth it. <laughs> We're almost there, we're almost there. It's Christmas morning, Wee! Yeah, I got some pickles and sauce on here so that it's Texas barbecue style. <laughs> and then we've got our espresso barbecue sauce on there, which we actually put a little espresso in there for you guys to taste. Oh, shoot. Yeah. We're gonna have ourselves a night. Woo, 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 woo. So the moment we've all been waiting for, Franklin's barbecue. I'm like shaking in my boots because I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's brisket. <laughs> Top notch. Heavenly, so good, tender, delicious, flavorful. Um, all the words when you're talking about barbecue. All right, we came, we ate, we're full, and uh, don't tell anyone, but I'm gonna take this back with me. I'm so excited. We're gonna be back tomorrow for the Texas Monthly Barbecue Fest, and we're gonna bring lots of floss with us. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>